kebabs are just something you have at the end of a night out. It's simply not true. They're a great, really fresh meal. They're really healthy with it as well because you can add a lot of veg, you can have it with a nice salad and everything with that as well. What we're going to teach you how to do here is a really nice soya and honey kebab with chicken. We're also going to add in some peppers and also some mushrooms. With the veg though, it's entirely up to yourself. If you don't like peppers, you don't like mushrooms, you can add other bits and pieces in it. I wouldn't add potatoes or something, but you get the gist of it with it as well. To start with, we need to make our sauce. For the sauce, just get some light soya sauce, add into a bowl. So you want a good healthy amount into that as well, because you're really looking to coat all your chicken breast. Add it all in like that. And then a couple of teaspoons of honey with it as well, so just let it drizzle through with that as well. Ideally you want a clear honey, it just means that it, it, works, it works together with the soya more and it doesn't separate out as much. And just move it all together, stir it all up until you can no longer see the difference between where the honey is and where the soya is with that as well. In true Blue Peter style, here's some chicken that we did earlier with it as well. We're looking at having kind of lumps with it as well. The most important thing about making a kebab like this is that your chunks are all the same size. That counts for veg and also your meat with it as well. So what to do is take the lumps of chicken or pork, works equally as well with pork, and add them onto the skewer. With these, always leave a bit of a gap, not too much, just means that the steam and the sauces and everything and can, can cook all the way through on the skewer with that as well. So don't squeeze them together too much. Add on your mushrooms or your on, uh, pepper with that as well and just kind of rotate it about as much as you want. I'm not a massive mushroom fan, so I'm only going to put two bits on that and add in some more chicken with it as well. Be really careful not to skewer yourself through it with that as well. Not all of us will have metal skewers, but you can get nice wooden ones from the shops for root dead cheap with that as well. With those though, make sure you cut off the ends because you don't want to set the holes on fire unless you want to see some firemen come around. And also make sure you soak them for about 30 minutes beforehand with it as well. So there we go. As you can see, we've made sure that there's not too too tight together with that as well. To season the kebabs, along with the two that we did earlier to feed the rest of the crew, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a bit of wild rosemary, like so. Just sprinkle that across, you know what I mean? So that as well, just adds on. If you're not a big fan of herbs and stuff like that, you don't have to add them on, but ideally you'd like to. What's really good about this is it can be done with quite a cheap meat with it as well. So ideally you can be looking at creating something like that for you and all your flatmates for dead, dead cheap, much cheaper than your kebab on it at the end of the night through that as well. Salt and pepper with it as well. Through with that as well. And also what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil onto it as well. The reason we're adding olive oil is that we're not adding any olive oil onto the pan. Your pan should have been on for about five minutes when you're doing this as well. So basically the pan should be absolutely screaming hot with it as well. So as I say, now we've got them together, we're just going to add them in to the pan. Ideally, put them across the way, like so, so we can squeeze them all in, like that. With these, you're looking to leave them for about eight minutes altogether and to kind of turn them every two, so, so you get coated on every side with that as well. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to need to turn these. So every couple of minutes, just keep them on the move until they're kind of nicely browned off. They're going to add like a little bit of a charcoal -y go on the go with it as well. So it kind of looks like it's been slightly barbecued. That's just the soil. Yeah, don't worry about it at all. Don't pick it off. Be man about it. Just munch your way through it. What we're looking at doing is we're going to have ours with a nice salad with it as well. Because we're on a wee health kick, it's always good. So some salads, you can add on obviously your own salad dressings or anything like that. But we're just going to have it as it is just now. Make sure when you're taking them out, you use a tea towel or something like that, because if not, you're going to burn yourself quite badly. So just take them out, place them either on top of your salad or just beside your salad. As you can see, it looks really fresh. Definitely not the sort of thing that you're going to pick up at the end of a night out with it as well. Bon appetit.